Hi, we're Pastors Jerry and Julie Jenkins. Addiction Free in Christ, a ministry of miracles. A ministry without walls or boundaries. In fact, it's a threefold ministry. First of all, helping people receive salvation through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Secondly, helping people receive deliverance from the slavery of addiction. And thirdly, helping people receive healing in their spirit, mind, soul, and body. And this is the word for the week. Well, the word for this week is a question. And it goes back to a song I heard back in the 50s, I think it was. And it goes like this. Have you ever been lonely? Have you ever been blue? Have you ever needed someone to tell your troubles to? Well, after us singing that, you probably think we need somebody to tell our troubles to. But anyhow, Julie and I have been doing this for years. In fact, that's what Addiction Free in Christ is all about. It's helping people that are lonely, helping people that are blue, helping people that are distressed and, and worried and struggle with anxiety, worry, fear, and depression. And that's what we're here for. And all they have to do is pick up the phone and give us a call, and we're here to take care of their troubles. And now, Julie, what else does it say? Well, whether it be spiritual, physical, or financial, we're here to look at the Word of God and to see what it says about the problems you are facing today. In fact, the Word of God talks a lot about this, doesn't it? Yes. Let's look at John 14, 1 through 6, and what does it say? It says, Jesus is speaking, and he says, Let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And where I go you know, and the way you know. And Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you're going. How can we know the way? And Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Okay, Julie, this, this is really good. I'm, we're talking about Jesus is saying, let not your hearts be troubled. So if you're struggling with anxiety, worry, fear, or depression today, Jesus is saying, don't let your hearts be troubled. You believe in me, believe, you believe in God, believe also in me, he says. In fact, he says, in my Father's house are many mansions. He doesn't say rooms or houses, he says mansions. He said, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I'm going to come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am you will be also. Isn't that awesome? Yes. You know, God. and then it goes on to say, in John 14, uh, 12 through 17, it talks more about what Jesus is saying. Yes, and also Jesus said, I will never leave you or forsake you in Hebrews 13, 5. Amen. In John 14, 12 through 17, Jesus says, Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. Greater works than these will he do, because I go to my Father. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper or comforter, that he may abide with you forever, the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither knows him or sees him. But you know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. Now, wait, wait just a minute. It starts out saying, Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these. Now, how can this be? Jesus made the blind to see, the lame to the walk, the deaf, to hear, the mute, to talk. He raised men and women from the dead. How are we going to do those same things? Maybe well, it's because it's greater in quantity, actually. And he did those many works through the early church in the book of Acts and continues to do so today. Well, praise God. Praise God. So this, he's going to give us the Holy Spirit to guide us now? Yeah. He, so, the Holy Spirit guides us through any problem we have. And he helps us. So we aren't blue. In John fourteen sixteen through 18, he, Jesus said, And I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, 
that he may abide with you forever. The Spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, but neither sees him or knows him, but you know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Okay, let's stop there for a minute. He says that, 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 that he's going to send the helper, right? Right. The Holy Spirit. And, he, and he's going to abide with us forever. So he's going to be inside of us, this actually says. Right. So actually we have God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth. We have his spirit living inside of us now. Mm -hmm. That's only if you've surrendered your life to Jesus Christ, though. Right. Right. If you haven't surrendered your life to Jesus Christ, you got the spirit of the devil in you or yeah. the spirit of the enemy. Right. You don't have God's spirit in you. But right. if you've surrendered your life to Jesus Christ, God actually took his spirit and put it inside of us. Right. Right. And so he's got a job then, the Holy Spirit. Right. It's to guide us into all truth. Is that what it says? Yeah. Okay. It goes on to say in John 16, 13 through 15, and Jesus is speaking again. However, when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak. And he will tell you things to come. Oh, I like that part. Yeah. He will glorify me, and he will take of what is mine and declare it to you. All things that the Father has are mine. Therefore, I said that he will take of mine and will declare it to you. Okay. So all authority has been given to Jesus in heaven and earth, right? Yes. And so he gave that. He also speaks to us then through the Holy Spirit. Jesus actually speaks to us through the Holy Spirit. Am I right? Right. So we got to understand that. But first of all, Jesus is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit all in one. That's who God is. And so God's like a, tri a three-part God. God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But they're all one, aren't they? Mm -hmm. And then Jesus put the Holy Spirit, when, when Jesus put the Holy Spirit inside of us, he also put the Holy Spirit in us to lead us, guide us, and direct us in everything that we need to do, right? Right. So then he's in us, guiding us in everything we need to do. Yes. But now in Philippians, the Bible tells us in 4 8 that uh, we must uh, change our thought process. Right, and yield to the Holy Spirit within us. Okay. And that's how it's done. It says, finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of a good report. If there's any virtue, and if there's anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. Okay, so in other words, they're telling us right now in Philippians 4 eight, Yes. It, that we need to change our thought process. Right. See, the thing with addictions, man, addictions get your thought process so far away from God yes. and His Word, it's unreal. So our whole thought process has to be changed. Yes. Right? So Absolutely. finally, brother, we got to start thinking about this. Whatsoever things are true, amen? Yes. Whatsoever things are noble. Well, our, our thinking in the past was not whatsoever things were true or whatsoever things were noble or whatsoever things were just or whatsoever things were, were pure or whatsoever things were lovely. And there certainly wasn't anything of good report, right? Right. And there certainly wasn't anything praiseworthy. Right. So we have to change our whole thinking process once we surrender our life to christ right we have to get rid of the old used to be called stinking thinking right right and now we have to do put on a whole new process right right okay right. and also the it, the bible tells us in philippians 4 11 through 13 not that i speak in regard to need for i have learned in whatever state i am to be content. I know how to be abased and how to abound everywhere in all things. I've learned both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and suffer need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Okay, now wait just a minute. So we're talking about changing our whole thought process. And when we do that, then he says this, that he know, knows how to, to what was he saying? He knows how to Everywhere in all things, he's learned to be full and to be hungry, to abound and to suffer need. 
He found out I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Okay, there's the key. That one verse tells it all. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. See, beforehand, we did everything by ourselves, everything that, that we was wanted to do. We did addiction was driving us most of the time. That's why we went in one problem after another, one miserable uh, situation after another. So here's the thing. We have to change our whole thought process, and then we can do all things, what? Through, through Christ, Christ that delivers us or right. strengthens us, right? right? So it can't be what we're doing. It can't be what my flesh is doing anymore. It can't be what my sinful nature was doing anymore. I have to do all things now through Christ, which strengthens me. Right, and right? Jesus said, without me, you can do nothing. Amen. So he made it pretty clear. So this is a whole, whole different life, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's a whole new life. Philippians 4.19 gives the promise of this in God's word. And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Now, who's going to do this? My God. So, but he's going to do it through Christ, right? Yeah. So, so we got to understand once we've surrendered to Christ, we're a new creation in Christ. Yes. All things have passed away. Behold, all things are become new. We've heard that a million times, but mm -hmm. that's a fact. So we have to change our thinking. We have to change our complete thoughts, thought process. We have to change in who we're trusting in. Amen. Mm -hmm. Right. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lay not your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Yes. So if you've ever been lonely, if you've ever been blue, if you ever need someone to tell your troubles to, Jesus is the one. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, you can call Julie and I. Yes. Right? How can I get a hold of us? Yes, you can call us at 217-617. Five five seven seven. That's two one seven six one seven five five seven seven. Area code one two one seven six one seven five five seven seven. Or you can also check out our website at www.addictionfreeinchrist.com. Addiction Free in Christ is on Facebook too. Okay, and then also that's where you're going to listen to these videos. Right. And we encourage you this. We encourage you that weekly you would listen to these videos. Mm -hmm. And then we also would encourage you to give us some feedback. Yeah. What do you think about them? If you like them, let us know. If you don't like them, let us know. What would you like to hear about? What subject do you want us to address? These videos we do for you, not for us. We do them for you to try to help you. If you're lonely, if you're blue, if you need somebody to talk to, that's what we're here for. But we got to know what you need and what we can do to help you to help you. And so we encourage you, please just contact us. Let us know whether you like the videos or not. If you don't like them, explain it. Explain what you don't like about it. But also encourage us in what you'd like to hear. We're here for you. And next week, we will, the minute you write us something or text us and let us know what you want, we'll make a video on that. But Julie, we also got some people we need to thank. Yes, we would like to thank Nick Examus of Westtown Ford, Lincoln of Jacksonville, Illinois, and Andy and Jeannie Nicholson of Punta Gorda, Florida, our Faith Foundation partners, and viewers like you for making these programs possible. Yeah, and we do want to thank now, Nick Examus and Westtown Ford's been with us forever. Uh, that's what pays for these videos. Right. And pays for what we do every day. And then now, Andy and Jeannie Nicholson down in Ponce Gota, Florida, they've just joined with us to help us do this. And if you're interested in helping support this ministry in any way, contact us because we need all the help we can get, believe yeah. us. <laughs> Times are troubled today. I know everywhere in this world, and especially in America, uh, we're going through a very difficult time. But we're here for you. And if you're going through a difficult time right now, if you're struggling with anxiety, worry, fear, depression, you need somebody to talk to, pick up that phone and call us because that's what we're here for. Mm -hmm. And Julie, why don't you close in prayer? Sure. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for those that are with us today and those 
video session, Lord. We pray that you would help them if they're lonely or blue. If they need someone to talk to, Lord, I pray that you give them the strength to pick up that phone and call that number at the bottom of their screen, Lord. We pray that you would touch and heal them and make them whole, Lord. I pray that they would surrender their lives to you, Lord Jesus Christ, simply by saying, Dear Heavenly Father, I know yes. that I've sinned, God, and I thank you for the forgiveness of sins through Jesus Christ. I surrender my life to Jesus Christ and receive him into my life. And now I turn my life over to him and we thank you, Lord, for redeeming me from the from the hell, from every evil and delivering yes. me and making me whole. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord God, for answering this prayer and for saving me. That's all you have to do. And in Jesus' name, Lord, we thank you for those who have committed their lives to Jesus right now. Yes. And we give you all the glory and honor and praise for this new life they have in Christ Jesus. And Lord, we thank you for them. Bless them and keep them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, Judy, we got to go. Yeah. <laughs> it's time to leave. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye.